how's the game going? So we just came from Hackle to Kepos now. We're going to Manuel Antonio National Park. We had to get out really early because the bus leaves at 7 a.m. to get in. It takes about two hours to get in from Hackle. 1,200 kilometers. And today, all I want to do is see a slot. So you, to enter the park, you have to buy a ticket from a different area. Let's go and see what, it, what this other area is. I don't actually know. Coconuts. The main thing, okay, if you want to see wildlife, also we are guys over here who can take you for one and a half hour for the observation of animals. It includes a sporting scope, pictures and videos of the animals. So we'll try to get a and they search your bag and you're not allowed any crisps in there and stuff. I guess it gets really dirty. He said something like there's thousands of crisp packets around last year, so it's banned. And we're going to eat these full box of Fritos before we go in. $16 to get in. I was surprised. I thought it would be cheaper than that. So we just started the trail now some guide guy told us all about the different routes and everything where we can see the animals or just go to the beach so it seems as though you could stay for a long time it, this one main hike and then seven hikes go off it something like that so we'll probably do them all I need to find the sloth So there's two beaches here, two nice ones apparently where you can go swimming and it's nice and then there's two other ones quite far away but apparently they're really rough. I don't know if we're going to go to them ones. So many hermit crabs, like probably, there's hundreds of them, look at. They look like just little moving stones, there's so many, I've never seen so many before. So hot. We just finished doing the loopy bit. It took about 45 minutes maybe to do it. Just went up, round and then down.
So the two beaches what are in the Manuel Antonio National Park are really nice and secluded. There's loads of areas to go shade and stuff. To go shade and stuff. <laughs> and uh, there's showers and water, drinking water and stuff, and toilets everywhere. So you've got everything you need really, as long as you've got a bit of food. You should be good. Nice and relaxing. It's so hot, so the beach is a nice relaxing place. But we're gonna go back and try and find some more sloths because that one in the tree at the top, I'm not sure if it was good enough. We'll see, let's go back. So this is the entrance here, then we came all the way down here, along here, along this part of the beach, came up, did this loopy bit, came back, did all this beach, went along here, back down this trail, along here now we're this bit and then we're going to do, we're going to go down this blue one, up this orange one, down this green one and then try and see more sloths again along this. We're going to miss out going all the way down there and, and here. So when you get here early in the morning, it's full of people, it's insane, there's just guides everywhere, people everywhere, it didn't seem like it was going to be that good, but then as the day got on, it's like 12 o'clock now, there's loads of areas where there's no one around and you can try and find your own animals without everyone like pointing in the sky. They're just so hard to find, they blend in too well. So we're on our way out now, we're just walking to the exit. We was here for about six hours, getting really tired. It's very, very hot. In the morning it's all crowded and then it kind of gets relaxing. This part where we was, where we're walking right now in the morning was just full of people and guides. And now it's really quiet. So, good day, we saw the sloths that we wanted to, so I'm happy. We saw four and all kinds of other stuff, raccoons and that, it was pretty fun. See you in a bit.